I love when the good news coming in on a day to day. Already know what's happening, I don't gotta shake the A. Big moves, big step up in the right direction. The trip continues, every double use a psychedelic. Journey over accolades, divvy up the macalades and tell them boys to have a day. Give and take, and I love it. See the bros hitting milestones Gone, get your shine on Brighter than an iPhone Screen anybody trying to take a piece of pie home Try some, shape a stick or drop them like a pine cone Conversations about the goals and the gold that I'm sitting on All I hear is low balling digits if I listen to them No need to counter if it's disrespect Swam with shots on how to bite my way out fishing nets What's going on, family? How y'all doing on this here uh, pop up for this here Sunday? Uh, I just had a, a, a something I've been wanting to talk about. Y'all ain't really had time, so uh, I'm getting to it now. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> we're gonna consider this here a teachable moment. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna consider this right here a teachable moment. So we're just gonna take it from now. What's up, family? I see people starting to come in. Uh, I'm going to give a couple minutes, let everybody just come on in real quick. And then we go, because I don't want nobody to miss this. I ain't going to be on here all day. It's just going to be a, a quick uh, chop it up. So, yeah, we just going to, we just going to, we're going to, dare I say, get country with it, if, if I'm allowed to do so. When we should ride the swingers and put diamonds in our niggas. If I'm drinking, sign my lemonade to look like a bitch. See, I come from the D where we got checks and we ain't flex. If you ain't yeah, we finna talk about it. You should know don't put the tick. Hey, we always say we keep our weapons. My mama from the age, she slowed it down for me at two. You know, we're a little slow down here. Sometimes you gotta slow it down for these Texas folks. The Texas boys, especially, that's why I love uh, my screw and my chop and my chopped and screw. Let's get it. Mama from the A, she slowed it down for me as a kid. Used to think Pepsi was the guy before he went to heaven. I knew what push up he was before Gunny even said it, said it, said it. Hey, she zero taught me keep my word. And never trust a nigga or a bitch cause it's expected. No killers from the country, they ride horses in folk cells. Got niggas in the East, ride ATVs from Mac 11. First off. You better remember what that sign say before you come down here to this bitch. Don't mess with Texas. Don't mess with Cause you know everybody around this bitch got guns. Hey, see? <laughs> I'm gonna stop it right there. Uh, no lies told. No lies told. It's a little different down here, but it is what it is. Let me get to speaking to some folks, then we're gonna get into this uh, topic of conversation very quickly, very briefly. Cause I see things starting to get out of hand, man. Sometimes, and it it ain't nothing new. It ain't nothing new. I see, and I you know, and I don't want to invalidate or discredit nobody feelings. So I know why people get in their feelings to the extent that they do. But here's the thing, man. Look, I don't get in grown folk business. So I personally chose. I ain't gonna tell you what you should or shouldn't do. Whatever, whatever. I'm so past the point where. Uh, the little minute, sometimes uh, microaggressions, uh, sometimes the the consumption of 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 so much news from so many different uh facets and outlets, and especially with social media, y'all, it ain't a person on this planet that can't find something to be pissed off and outraged about. Not on a on a daily basis, hell, on an hourly basis. If you just sit back and scroll through your phone and go to uh some I'm sure it's a website out there somewhere, what pisses me off the most.com. And it seems like some people in the world live on that site. Not me. But I understand. I understand, but I don't get it. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Once you get to a certain age, a certain phase in life, eh, some shit just silly. 
with that being said, she said, what's up, my sister? Just gifted. How you doing, family? La shots. How you doing, baby? Great live today. And man, you got them greens looking good, girl. I mean, gr not just greens, green. I mean, like all your brassicas, your kale, your greens, your all your other stuff over there is looking amazing. Gardening is great. What's going on, family? Ask the team 85. Thank you for being here catching this pop up today. Uh, today is a great is a uh, gardening day. So attend it. Might be reflect. Hey, no worries, fam. Thank you for being here. My man, VP, Vision Preparedness. What's going on, brother? Countdown to Bug Out Weekend. If you don't know, now you know. Shanna and Jason. What's going on? Where there's a Shanna, there is a Jason. And where there is a Jason, somewhere around that is a Shanna. So, hey, Shanna. What's up, Jason? Oh, cool. By the way, I got something for you. I got a little palate cleanser before we get into a dumb, dumb but necessary conversation. In my opinion, Nancy be the scratcher. What's going on? Shout out DJ Ron. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Tampa's Creek. What's going on? How you doing? Uh, okay. She said, now nah, it's just folks speaking. Again, y'all, this is a pop up, so it ain't no big deal. If you feel like sharing this live out, why am I so dog down here? It seems like when I scoop up, it's my camera trying to pick me. Huh? Yeah. Anyway, whatever. Let me put this back like this. I don't look too dog to myself, but on here I see myself. And then when I scoot, okay, I'm gonna have to lean in like this, y'all. I guess so I won't be all uh, overly melanated. Now, with that being said, let me go and get into it. For those who wondering, hey, 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 turn you off, Bose. For uh, anybody who come in here and wonder why the hell African Dream and leaning so close up into the camera it keep flickering so i'm trying to get the best lighting so y'all can see all the accents in my eyes <sighs> okay now uh i'm looking in these bushes so i can mow this damn yard man you and me both i cleaning out my doggone gas filter right now uh on on the mower because I've been putting that bad boy to work. For real, for real. Uh haven't heard of bad vision. Okay. Ask the team vision trying uh vision, ask the team get at you. Get 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 out of. So here's the thing. Now mind you, this ain't me getting up here. Y'all understand why in a minute. Just follow me. Just follow me. Stick with me, family. <sighs> Um, and let me preface this with this. Let me preface this by starting this, by saying it, saying this first. Um, rarely do y'all see. <laughs> What's up, baby? You sugar? How you doing, baby? You better get in here and enjoy yourself, girl. I'm trying to get my light and I feel like, you know what I'm saying? I have to be careful because my T-zone get a little oily sometimes. So that's why I be wiping, you know what I'm saying? So I don't be too shiny on y'all. But uh, I don't really get into the trivial side. Now, I do over here at African Dream, do I talk about topics and subject matters that may be relative or even some uh, mainstream points of discussion? Of course I do. But what you rarely, damn near never hear me talk about is celebrity gossip or celebrity this, celebrity that, because I don't give a damn about them. They rich. They going to be okay. I promise them folks going to be all right. They done made 150 times over what most of us done either made in a lifetime or will ever make. They're fine. That won't really touch on that. But I either won't say nothing at all, or if I talk about something, I ain't finna sugarcoat the shit. So, the stuff, excuse me, I'm trying to watch my language. Uh, Y'all might be listening on your TV or something with your grandkids, family, so I'm going to behave myself to the best of my ability. Miss April Showers, how you doing? Welcome in, young lady. Uh, Great live yesterday, the other day. No, it was yesterday, I believe. Um, Bug family, what's going on, Bug family? And it ain't really comfortable for me because I believe we all grown. We all grown. But as you can see, it's a diverse community of people in here right now. 
everybody in my life ain't black. Everybody ain't Hispanic. Everybody ain't uh 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 white. Everybody is Pacific Islander. It's all kind of folk, man. African people. I mean, straight from Africa. It's people from all kinds of walks of life and background. But every now and again, we got to have a conversation like this. And we're going to keep it real. As, as many of us have heard, Beyonce, a, a Texas native herself, recently dropped a uh, album. I ain't heard it. I haven't purposefully went out to seek it out, to listen to it. None of that. I ain't got nothing against her. But I'm at my at my old age. I'm more on the uh, old school Beyonce side. I, I'm I'm more of a Destiny's Child kind of guy. And uh, what's that other little song? Oh, my wife be listening to uh, Tonight I wanna dance for you. Uh, uh. You know what I'm saying? Every now and again, April put that on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, little dance for you, stuff like that. Uh. I, I, well, I, you, I can't say you listen to Beyonce. Come in here, wife, looking at me. Babe, I love you. Anyway. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So, like I was saying, I haven't went to critique her new album to see if it was just super dope or if it was garbage or whatever because I don't care. But I have noticed the racial twinge coming from some of her critics. I don't, man, look, if people like what they like, don't like what they don't like, that's fine with me. But some of the stuff that I'm seeing and hearing and noticing, it's like, damn, that's how you, okay, bet. That's, damn, that's how you feel? Okay, I mean, you know, I think I think it's called Country Carter or something like that. Again, I done heard about two songs off of it by accident. I have never purposefully sought it out. Uh, one of them, the, the 16 candle. Well, uh, that, that one right there, I keep hearing that hook. And I heard one other song. That's it for me. So I'm not here in, in uh, I'm not, a, I'm not a, a bay hive or none of that. I'm not here in, uh, what's up, AGC? I'm not here in the def in defense of, of Miss Knowles or Miss Carter or whatever she calls herself these days. That ain't it. What I'm here for is some of the overwhelming hate that I see. Right? And there is recently a young woman. A young woman is going viral. A student at the University of, I believe, out of the University of Indiana. Now, as a content creator myself, I know good and damn well that everything I say, do, emote on this like this is a live stream right now this public babe i can't never take this back half of y'all could be screen recording right now ain't a damn thing i can do about it it comes with the territory i've always encouraged myself and other people not only be mindful and careful of what you say and do but if you have if you prone to doing and saying dumb stuff Lives might not be the best thing for you. It might not be your fit. Honestly. Now, with that being said, back to the racial element of all of this. Being a, a, a Texas native and being down here in East Texas, as I've mentioned a time or two before, it's never missed on me that even people of different persuasions that I ain't got no problem with just don't like me. They just don't like me. Girl, dad, what's going on, bro? Is it a racial element to it? Absolutely. Is it the majority? In my opinion, absolutely not. I'm in the deep south. There's a whole bunch of wealthy people who coalesce and mingle. And there's a whole bunch of poor folk who coalesce and mingle. We've learned to coexist with one another to the extent that in some ways I can see significant changes just from my childhood. Uh, but what people seem to still get confused is sometimes you see the big pickup truck 
and you hear uh, some loud country music, I guess the right kind of country music, according to some, and you automatically just, and rightfully so, because you got to be careful of your surroundings and who around you and what their intentions is, so on and so forth. But it ain't, it ain't always old Billy Bob. It ain't always old Billy Bob who who out the who who gunning for you. Sometimes it's Chad from accounting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it's Bethany from the front desk. I understand how people get the the the. I understand the role that aesthetics play in, in, in society, and I understand the archetypal, uh, well, anyway, let's just keep it simple. Let's just keep it simple. Sometimes folks' looks can be deceiving. Right. Sometimes the one person you think in the worst of, you don't think I done been judged, man, with my hair? And walk around big as I am, and 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 folk just think, you know what I'm saying? I'm, which I I, I did a part of my life, childhood, grew up in the hood. In fact, the majority of it, back and forth between the woods and the city, the woods and the city. So I get it. I found my way how to navigate through both realms of existence. With that being said. <coughs> I'm going to get to this young lady from the University of Indiana in a moment. For me, I disagree with a whole lot of people and how they feel. Because people calling for this woman's head. They want her to get kicked out of school. And what, don't get me wrong, we're going to get to it in a minute. What she said and how she said it was completely disrespectful. Uh, it was egregious. It was nasty as hell. I don't want to see, I don't want to see this woman get kicked out of school at all. He is God's son. What's going on? I don't want to see this woman get kicked out of school. I don't want to see a whole lot of things that other people feel like will be an appropriate punishment to her, her statements and opinions. And I'm going to try to explain to y'all why I feel the way I No, I ain't going to try. I'm going to explain to you why I feel the way I feel in a minute. But before we get to that, I know Jason said he was a, uh, <clears throat> about the motor yard. So we're going to start out with a little palate cleanser. So before we get into this deep conversation and all of this and that, uh, we can come into it with uh, a light heart, a little bit of laughter, and, and palate cleanse, and then we're going to get back to it. Uh, so this is the first clip right here. By the way, man, Shout out to all my 11 series, all my 12 series, everything from the Bravos through to, I ain't, look, whatever, whatever, uh, <coughs> whatever your title is or was or whatever, man, shout out to all my vets, all my service men, all women, and uh, yeah, let's get a palate cleanse in here, folks, and then we're going we gonna to talk about it on the other side. Fire. Fire. Did y'all see that? Now, I want y'all to know, a lot of people, y'all probably didn't even initially notice this. I think I got this loop twice. Did y'all just see one person at first, or, or, or did y'all notice? Did y'all notice that? I'm going I'm to run. Let me pull this back real quick, because this just tickled me at first, boy. Let's, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Get it in there. There you go. Fire! Down the way. Fire. Fire. Woo! Woo! It's people out here who do that for a living, y'all. It's people out there who do that for a living, man. Shout out to everybody who went through uh, <laughs> all, my, all my Fort Seal people, all the field artillery cats out there. All the time y'all spent on that drill pad. Did y'all see that less than a foot away when Buddy laying down there holding that TE? <laughs> the round went off, man. 
The round went off, but that was less than a foot away when that TNE slipped, when that round knocked it back. So again, thank you to all the men and women out there who uh who do their thing and do jobs like this, keeping us safe. Let's continue with the palate cleanser, and then we're gonna get to the rest of it. What's going on, Miss Deborah Garrett? How you doing? Yeah, it's one more loop. One more loop. There you go. Fire. Down the way. Fire. Fire. Woo! Woo. That'll send you to the aid station, baby. Park. Park. Okay. Okay. I remember looking at that. Okay. okay, there we go. Oh, All right. Woo. And again, I'm pausing. If y'all can see my mouse, I don't know if my mouse showing up. Right down here, right down here, there's a young man laying face down, holding that TNE in place <clears throat> as that round goes off. Uh, <laughs> so again, man, love him or hate him, but give it up for field artillery, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the 11s and 12s out there, some of the 13s. Let's just. Let's just give it up for him. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for y'all service. Thank you for what you do. All right. That's enough of that. <clears throat> now, with that being said, it, it back to, uh-oh, I got a little alfalfa sticking up. There we go. <clears throat> um, uh, Aster Teen, I already got a comment. Let me see what, Aster Teen 85 said on the students, not country comment <clears throat> with Beyonce Texas here brought out the truth. Country music has its roots in black history. Uh, Google the Time Magazine article. Yes, Astatine, and I was going to touch on that, and I'm glad that you mentioned that, my sister. Thank you, and thank you, and thank you. Unbeknownst to a lot of people, <clears throat> I use this thumbnail for a reason, and it all makes sense in a minute. Um, So for further clarity, for, for further clarity, and this is another reason why I got this young man at a uh, at a black rodeo, not by choice. It wasn't. It wasn't selective segregation. It's a black rodeo because we wasn't. We wasn't included in everybody's. Even back in back when I was born, <clears throat> it was still very segregated. Things have gotten better. They flourish into a tradition. So you still have your own. I thought that with the internet being what it is these days, I thought that folk would would know. That Texas is more than just uh, tumbleweed. I try to I try to do something that I take seriously in, a, in a, to a degree. <clears throat> you know, it's black folk out here on trail ride. It's Sunday, so right now as we speak, it might not be the big, big, big ones till late in the summer. But damn, now all year round, you know, it's black folks out here who got horses, horse trailers, cows. Hey, live out in the country, raise hogs, raise cattle. It amazes me that it's still so many people with all you just got. You got access right here in your pocket. You got access to all kinds of information. You may have to use some discernment to see what's more applicable or less applicable, but. Damn it, I really want to believe what a, a part of me wants to still believe that that folk got to know that. Uh, I hate saying this out loud because it's so cliche at this point, but damn it, we are not a monolith, man. We are not a monolith. People, people have different voting interests. People got different ways of life. Some people super hood hood, some people super country country, some people super corporate America, some people are, 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 are just success driven, some people bums and don't want a damn thing out of life. It, we, let me get back to this. 
I seen some. Hey, uh, Happy Mac, what's going on, family? Welcome in. Be rich, man. I appreciate you, brother. Wow, look at that platform shoved down into the earth. Uh, yeah, that platform hit that. Yeah, it hit the ground hard, baby. And again, shout out to all those men and women, cause uh, from, uh it was people who do that for a living. There are people. There, are, there is this. It's so that to me that at this age, baby, that's a young man's sport. But there are people out here who do that for a living. That is their job. <laughs> to hold that TNE, which is heavy as hell, which they finna have to pick. Everything you saw right there, man, that boy might have to pick that joint up and, go, and and move two, three miles with it. And if you think it, it look heavy, it gets heavier after mile one. Fit the cow look heavy. Carry that, <laughs> carry that joint for, uh, yeah. Down your driveway and back about 20 times. And then, anyway, look here. Be Rich, man. I thank you, brother. Let me get Be Rich right real quick on this here Sunday pop-up. Let me get my man right real quick, fast. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you, Be Rich. Now, the title, I, I use that language for a very specific reason. This is not your country. I don't know whether to call it a double entendre. That sounds fancy, don't it? Let's just stick with saying it could go two ways. With everything going on in the world, this is not your country, or this is not your country in the more colloquial sense of the word, meaning rural or rural America or rural life, so on and so forth. Y'all feel me? You picking up what I'm putting down. <clears throat> Let me get to what this young lady said for uh uh for context and then we'll elaborate more on the other side. Jason, sir, hold on, I gotta get to this first. Jason, sir, uh you uh being a marine, sir, have no idea what carrying ammo or ammo boxes is like, sir. You don't understand the weight of belts. You don't understand the weight of TNE. You know, even a 240, even a saw, get heavy as hell after a couple of miles. Just does. It just does. But Jason don't know nothing about that. I think he I think he just kind of freestyling in the chat, y'all. But for the sake of conversation, hoorah to all my Marines out there. Now, with that being said, let's get to this young lady right now, and we're going we're gonna to watch this together as a family. We're going to talk about it on the other side. You're black. You're not country. I, I don't care. Like, it, and I wish I meant that in the nicest way. But, like, babe, I know you were raised in the country. Or your grandparents were, I guess. Your great granny and grandpas. But they was picking, okay? They wasn't planting. Just keep that in mind. They wasn't making money. It was getting sold for money. Yay, country. Boots and a motherfucking jeans and a cutoff to a frat party. No. I'm gonna play this one more time for good measure, so y'all ain't got. And then we're gonna talk about it. Let's run it back one more, one more again, one more again. But if you're black, you're not country. I, I don't care. Like, it, and I wish I meant that in the nicest way, but like. I know you were raised in the country, or your grandparents were, I guess, your great granny and grandpas, but they was picking, okay? They wasn't planting. Just keep that in mind. They wasn't making money. It was getting sold for money. Yay, country. Boots and a motherfucking jeans and a cutoff to a frat party. 
Ja. All right. Now let's get that down here and let me get me back up here. Now the reason that I'm even bothering using my uh, precious and valuable time to have a conversation like this, with this being the type of content that I usually just see and pass and skip over and don't bring to my channel, is because I think this is a teachable moment for all of us, myself included, because sometimes we need to be re-reminded of things we already know, and sometimes it's your first time learning a new perspective. I'm going to catch hell either way for, for what I'm about to say because, and don't get me wrong, I understand it, so I, I, I'll take it like a man. With what I'm about to say, I'm pretty sure it's some it's some uh some some people who look like me, it's some black folk out there who will be like, this Negro here, he always co-signed, he, he quick to co-sign for them white folk. I ain't co-signing for no damn body. The reason I try to let my maturity and my growth and wisdom take over versus visceral emotion is because as I sit here in East Texas, I hope right now some old white woman or white man or just any other race of person didn't get the shit beat out of them while they walked out of a safe way and then somebody hate all black folks for the actions of that one person. That's why I choose to take the approach I'm taking. And in turn, we can't deny the historical significance behind things that have happened, transpired, and in many ways, in some ways, in a lot of ways, continues to be unfair treatment and an unfair shot. But I, with, th with stuff like this, I'll be damned if I'm, if I'm going to be part of the problem versus part of the solution. The part of the solution for me, find people in your life with some damn sense and treat them like accordingly. And some stuff like this that I personally see on the Internet is not going to ruin my day, week, month or hour. And the important thing is, I, and like I said earlier, now I'm getting back to that side of it. The reason that I don't want this young lady to get kicked out. Hold on. This young woman, this young person, I'm not going to call her no lady. The reason I don't want her to get kicked out of school. The reason I don't want her to get uh what they call it when you get uh, counsel. I feel like enough of that's going to happen anyway, right? I feel like enough of that. She, she, she already catching heat. This story is starting to go more and more viral, but it's also an election year. So, you know, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes stuff that normally nobody would give a damn about end up being the biggest, most sensational stuff because people are already mad at each other. People are already hate each other. I refuse to be used in that way, in that form, that shape or that capacity. That's just me. And to add to that, I don't consider myself having haters, y'all. I'm really not a poor. I have some some people that may be less or more fond of old African dreaming, but I don't even think I'm important enough to really have no haters. And when I do encounter such situations, you know what life then taught me? The best thing I can do? Let their ass talk. Let them talk. Don't be quick to cancel. Don't be quick to want to see uh, for me. Don't uh, you don't need to lose your job right away. You don't need to do nothing. Let me know how you really feel about me so I can adjust accordingly. I want to know how you feel for real. Deep in your heart, deep in your soul. She looked like she might have had a simple three. A drunk man's words is a sober mind's thoughts. Sometimes. That's what the old folk used to say. I don't want you in my face smiling and skinning and grinning and deep inside. For real, for real. You hate my ass? No, baby. No, let these folk talk. Let them tell it. It happens in the virtual world. It happens in the real world. It happens. It, it just happens. It just happened. Give folk enough rope. 
They'll take care of the rest. Now, do I think that this is going to follow this young lady for years to come? Probably. With as fast as news and information and all of this stuff. Hell, some of the biggest stories in the world dominate the news, media, social, everything for years and years and years and years. Uh, I mean, weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. And then, hell, two months later, you can't remember this ish no more. If they don't kick her out of school, this lady going, this this young woman, is, what's going on, Pumpkin's little farm? This young woman going to go on with her life, probably find a good job because she's a nursing student. Jobs starting to go through people's social, social media history more than they ever have before. So will she get some flack from it? Maybe not get that prestigious gig she wanted or have to, you know, earn stripes and pay dues to get back to where she cut her support. Possibly, I don't know. But you know what I'm going to be doing in the meantime? Um, Raising chickens. Clearing land. Loving on my wife. And not giving a damn about her at all. If that makes any sense. Y'all, in this day and age, it is so incredibly easy to be drawn in to what offends me most? And I'm trying to be careful with saying this, family, because what may be offensive to me, y'all could care less about, and vice versa. So I never want to dictate or put the stipulation on who should or shouldn't care about what or this or that. But now we talking about a, a potential Tina. I, I don't forgot how old she was. All I know, she is a stu student at the University of Indiana. So I'm thinking somewhere between 17 and 20, probably. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I gotta keep talking because it's just dead air. But I'm sitting here thinking to myself, like, <laughs> it. There are people in this world who really, really shook right now, y'all. Like they mad, man. And I get it. I get it. But at the same time, I don't. I don't get it, but I understand. Y'all know it's people out here in this world that rage farm for a living. They literally purposefully and deliberately go online to piss off and find engagement with as many people as they possibly can. They lack the ability to sustain um, what I'm doing right now. There's no one up here with me. I'm just using this little tiny country brain I got to try and communicate with y'all to the best of my abilities. I'm literally monologuing right now. A lot of these trolls, a lot of these trolls, a lot of these rage baiters, man, they, some, hold on, not all of them, because some of them good at what they do. They excellent at their crap. But then you see other ones out here in this where they always have to leech on to somebody else because they can't do it themselves. They need a host. They have to have a host to attach to in order to put that kind of energy, that kind of vibe out. Because there's no way in hell they finna sit back for an hour, two hours, three hours and have a relevant. Have a relevant. Um, coherent. Conversation by themselves. It, it, it just ain't in them. But let me get to some of these comments real quick. Huh? Let me. Uh, Ask 1085. Hold on. No, I'm, my bad. My bad. She said, she said it was before that. She said, said most, and I know I'm behind in the chat, y'all. I apologize in the words of Anita Baker. I promise I'm finna catch up. Uh, most people have enough sense not to say anything at all if they don't like someone or something. Exactly, she said. Exactly. So w when, when you do encounter those persons with the boldness to just say that with their whole chest, hell, let them say it. Uh, Aston, Aston 85 said, who was that police detective who infiltrated the three K's? I don't know. I want to give straight. Yeah. Thank you for wording it that way. Uh, and wrote a book about it. I can't remember, but, uh, it, it be, be, should be used as a teachable experience. Absolutely. Um, if, if we thinking about the same, uh, 
person and article after team. That was actually a detective <laughs> that was investigating uh, the 3K community at the time. And I want to say this was back in the, man, it had to be the mid-60s or late 50s or something. And uh, everybody there was, was law enforcement. And, and this may be a separate story. Everybody there was law enforcement. And once it was made, brought to their attention, because, you know, for all intents and purposes, it was just a good old meetup. <laughs> it was a it was a 3K kickback, so to speak. And everybody used their position to say, hey, I was doing the same thing you were doing. I, I was investigating. I'm not a part of it. You know what I'm saying? You take this hood off real quick. Eh, it happens. I would rather know. I would rather know. Chocolate drop. What's going on, fam? I didn't even know you was in here. I got to hear up and catch up. Uh, girl dad cooking up deliciousness. Happy Max still in here. AGC. Uh, Jesse Bean. What's going on, fam? So now what? What's up? What's going on, family? Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. So now what said? Uh, that looked and sound like folks' fears, jealousy, and insecurities manifesting itself. But I'd rather know how folk really feel. Exactly, fam. That is my point. I don't keep it from me. Don't just hell. What, what, who what, uh? Let me know. Let me know. Who, oh, that was Aaliyah. Yeah, let me know, baby. I don't want to play no game. I don't want to be guessing around you. Hell, we all have to guess enough about everybody in general. Enough, so especially people. Now, this is the one thing I will touch on. I'm going to get to some more comments, but I want to touch on this. This might really be what, what, what hurt her. If she had planned on going on to be an entrepreneur of some sort, I'm sure she could have started her own company and probably got a lot of support. I personally still think she going to be all right. I think she going to be all right. You feel me? But the fact that she's a nursing student, it make you wonder sometimes. Who Look, man, y'all know I done talked to the story before. Uh, in my mama latter years and in, 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 in the, at the, at the uh, end stages of her life when she was in hospice care, uh, I'm her oldest baby. I'm her oldest boy. I, I, I'm, 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 uh, I love my mom. I don't give a damn how old I am. I wasn't, a, I wasn't a mama's boy, but I, I love my mama. Still do. And I always will. And finding myself in a position of advocacy for her care in the end stages of her life. I can't lie. I had to check a couple people. I had to check a couple medical professionals like, no, nah, this ain't what's, how about no? We finna do this different. Why is this like this? Why is that like that? Y'all, that is something that makes the healthcare industry so scary for me. I encourage everybody to get looked at, get checked up, get your physicals, get whatever you need, but always, always get a second opinion if some don't feel right because somebody who giving you care could just not like your ass we all grown if we're gonna talk about it let's talk about all of it hell it is what it is i didn't make it that way i was given this world i didn't make it and the part i'm trying to make is make it better anyway let me get the she said comment she said uh if i don't like anyone i leave them alone I don't care if you like me. The truth always comes out. And I, I'm going to be honest. For, uh, that's very true. And I'm going to be real around here, man. Again, I'm in the deep south, deep rural south, East Texas. I don't for one second think that everybody who uh, don't look like me or share my ethnicity like mine at all, <laughs> at all. But they don't hide it. Mm. They don't hide it. They won't speak to you in the store. They won't speak to you on the highway. They won't do nothing. They won't do. And at the same time, again, we just juggling, baby. We are we all trying to work and see what fit and what to stick. Cause that same person, old Billy Bob, that you think might be coming to string your ass up, be one of the first people pull up on the side of the road and help you fix that tire or let you use their phone. I ain't speaking from happenstance or what I suspect. I'm talking about stuff I done lived through and continue to live through. I ain't in Africa no more. We back in Texas, baby. And then when you in Dallas, uh, uh, 
sometimes people who look the part of just being the friendliest, kindliest, most open-minded, dare I say progressive people in the world, got their phone like this. Got their phone like this because it looked like you finna hit they uh, Audi. They can't wait to call Carrollton PD on your ass or plain old PD. You be- they locking their doors and stuff. Hell, we all at Target. Shit, you were parked already. I just pulled up beside you. I just pulled up beside you. I ain't finna rob you. Damn, we at Target. But anyway, I'm getting behind in the chat. Let me... Uh, yes, Ask the Team. It's worse to have hidden hatred. I agree. Uh, yes, sir. No, you know what, Ask the Team, you're right. I think you're right. It was the 70s. I believe you are correct, ma'am. Blue Lotus vibe. What's going on, Mama Nita? Well, I got to catch up with this chat, y'all. I'm up here busting my chop. Hey, Mama, my Renaissance grandma. Uh, yeah, ask the team. Yeah, a lead, lead farmer that has mentioned that before. He's talked about having worked in the uh, 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 in the medical field and and got a lot of experience on that and with that. And he was talking about it not long ago, actually. And y'all, that don't mean don't go get yourself looked after and checked up and checked out and stuff, but be willing to get a second opinion. Be willing to ask the hard questions and the difficult questions and advocate for yourself. You got to advocate for yourself. Warnings. What's going on, family? Welcome in. Welcome in. Diana's Country Homestead. Uh, Country Hustle. What's going on, family? I'm almost down here at the bottom. Uh, so now what said, and if she didn't like uh, Carter's new album drop, she could have just said that. I'm not making light, but no, no, this, this is shit, it, man. This ain't something that's so deep and heavy. No, I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. I'm not, make, uh, I'm not making light, but I know there's more of this sense. It look. So now what? I'm gonna tell you. I rarely talk about stuff like this because to me, this is still a little too close and a little too centered to like kind of, kind of tabloidy, right? Or, or or the sensational side. I wasn't gonna say a word because I've been I've been seeing all kinds of stuff across multiple multiple social media platforms where uh, it's been a lot of it's been a lot of Beyonce hate. I'm not I'm not co-signing for Miss Carter. I'm not standing up for her because she a Texan. I'm not. Th- Hell, I said early, you know, I'm more of a, uh, 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 what was that first? Tonight I want to dance for you kind of fella. And, and I, hell, I listen to Destiny's Child first album all day. Matter of fact, they first two albums. I haven't even heard the whole thing yet. So I'm not up here trying to uh, go hard for Beyonce. That ain't what it is. I'm just saying. Between some of the stuff, even even uh, the Houston Chronicle, one of the biggest newspapers in the country, I think it's the second biggest outside of the New York Times, or not New, yeah, is it New York? It's one of the New York newspapers had to rewrite a tweet, a uh, X, or whatever the hell people call it, that they put out because it's been a lot of slander. It's been some crazy stuff. A radio station said out of uh, out of uh, uh, Oklahoma. Even out of L.A. So that's the reason I'm talking about this, because this is a teachable moment. Now, if it just stayed in the in the sphere of, uh, you know, oh, they don't like Beyonce album and the people who I guess feel like they own country or they the real country music artists or whatever. I wouldn't care. But what this young woman just said, this is a college student and a nursing student. When you have the boldness to get your behind up on Octavia Butler's internet and boldly say with your whole chest the things that she just said, how in the hell are you going to treat your patients when ain't nobody looking? Huh? How are you going to treat your patients when ain't nobody looking? What if somebody come in with labor pains and you already have this mindset so you don't believe that this black woman over here having a severe, if she, well, there's nothing in your chart that says you have preeclampsia. So, you know, well, uh, here go a Tylenol three. Bye. 
This stuff people are already living and dealing with. What gets me is the boldness of it all. I still feel like she ought to be able to say whatever she want to say, but that don't mean it don't come with consequences. If I, if I get on her and say the right, wrong thing, in the words of J.E., bye, 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 baby, I'm gone. I'm done. They will get rid of me. I, it's certain folk you can't say nothing about. Everything from groups, cultures, subcultures, whatever, whatever. Emmy Edwards, how you doing? Thank you. Thank you for being here. What you know about Octavia Butler? Yes, 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 yes. Diane's Homestead, how you doing, young lady? Welcome in, Diane. How you doing? How you doing? Pumpkins, little fun. What you, what you had said, Pumpkin? I said I was my mom's caregiver because I didn't like how nursing care did. Uh... Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, family. Our condolences from, from myself and April. Um, thank you for sharing that. Now, with that being said, I'm going to do something I hadn't planned on doing. I'm on. That's, come on, M. Edwards. Now, I don't know. I don't, you, know, you kind of new over here, but you, 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 you talking the right talk now. Nah, come on. Come on. Mm-hmm. Yes, if y'all didn't know, now you know. My all-time greatest uh, fiction, Afro-fiction or just fiction author is that woman right there. Absolutely, absolutely amazing writer. I feel like she left us too young. As, as M. Edwards is putting it, it's like she left us too too soon, but she is so insanely prophetic. Uh, you pick whatever parable of the whatever you want to read and start there. I be a parable of the talent, a parable of the soul, whatever you more comfortable with. Y'all see, y'all didn't even know. You got folks saying we wasn't country and we ain't country, but you know, I can read and write and, and do arithmetic. How the how the hell the woman gonna say? The woman was, matter of fact, I'm about to play it one more time. I'm gonna play it one more time and then I'm gonna drop this link just for uh for a minute. For anybody who wanna come up and uh share their thoughts and opinions. Don't don't be mean, don't be nasty. And cuz I'm encouraging people to leave her leave her alone. She she going to get her just do and this ain't one of them like oh you know old Jesus going to handle it. No, this ain't what I'm saying. What I'm saying is think about what it takes away from you when you see stuff on the internet and it piss you off or ruin your day to the point where it's just it's just to mess you up. You snapping at the kids, damn they want to kick the dog, uh, walking through the house on your phone, you know what I'm saying, busting your elbow on, on, the, on, the, on the dough and your pinky toe on the coffee table because you just done got worked up. These folks don't even know who you are. <laughs> That's a crazy thing. I'm sitting here doing a live right now. You know that woman don't know who has no clue who the hell I am. I'm a black dude down here in Texas busting my chops about some ish she said uh, last week. We got to do better, family. We got to do better. One of the best things life taught me was uh, you can't control how you feel, but you can control how you act to it. That's all you got, baby. I have all kinds of feelings. Just like everybody else. I'm human. I don't care if you're a man, woman, whoever. We all got. H Time said emotions make you cry sometimes. They make you fall in love too. Emotions do a whole lot of stuff, but which one you gonna let dictate, man? People that lost their lives because somebody who was probably in their own head dealing with their own emotions pulled out in front of them and cut them off. No impact. Everybody stopped, but you mad as hell because you had to slam on them brakes. And down here, I don't know how it is where some of y'all live, baby, but down here, everybody got them things. Especially people who carry, you need to have the most discipline. You need to have the most wherewithal about yourself and bring it down and let a fool be a fool if need be because you know you got the power to end them right there or at least eliminate that threat. I'll put it like that. Uh, 
Odoms, what's going on, bro? How you doing? I got to get back with you, fam. I got your message. I got to get back with you. Um, Jason said, it tells me she never did much traveling outside her own community. It's probably, probably right. You probably right, bro. You probably right. For shizzle, as the young folks say. She said, said uh, I will not be entertaining her know her mess. I'm too busy doing more uplifting things. That's what I'm talking about, family. That's how we win. Because, you know, until you take your last breath, it's going to be something in, on, or there about this planet that fit the criteria to piss you off. If you human. If you human. Uh, let me see here. Hold on. As the teen eighty five said, you don't get your self-esteem or worth from the likes of her, you get it from your creator, uh, from your loved ones and the people who matter in your life. Absolutely, my sister. Absolutely. Tag, what's going on, bro? Skilly, my man. How you been? How you been? So, yeah, I'm going to play this one more time. So, because so many people that came in here, y'all might be wondering what the hell he talking about. I wanted to have gravity and have context to what um, to this topic and conversation right now. Uh, we hit the one hour mark. I'm going to drop the link if anybody want to come up and share their thoughts and opinions briefly, and then we'll keep it pushing. But hey, growing out the box, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Country Hustle. Um, Country Hustle said. It's not what goes in the body that defile it, but what comes out. Hey, hey, man. Hey, that's a word right there. Farmer Marshall, what's going on? So we're going to quickly play this 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 clip one more time um, so it gives context to why I feel the way I feel and why I want to encourage all of us to have uh, as much discipline as possible, uh, as much self-control over how we let yeah, anyway, we'll, we'll talk about it on the other side. You're not country. I, I don't care. Like, I'm sorry, but if you're black, you're not country. I, I don't care. Like, it, and I wish I meant that in the nicest way. But, like, I know you were raised in the country, or your grandparents were, I guess, your great granny and grandpas, but they was picking, okay? They wasn't planting. Just keep that in mind. They wasn't making money. They was getting sold for money. Yay, country. Boots and a motherfucking jeans and a cutoff to a frat party. And there is that. And there is that. And I guess one of the reasons that that uh, I use this as a teachable moment, not so folks can not to incite uh, anger or, or feelings of, of uh, irrational ir irrationality or piss people off or nothing like that. Um, it's so it can really be a teachable moment, because if she has stopped at. Uh, Black people ain't country. I would have said, well, you're wrong, but, uh, and this is an internal dialogue I'm talking about. I could have said, say, well, maybe she just don't know. She's ignorant in that sense. She ignorant in that regard. Just because she go to Indiana State University, I don't know where she originally from. She could have grew up in the heart of the city. I think ch uh, chocolate drop. Somebody said she could have been homeschooled. It happens, right? That's just ignorant. But you had to go out and <laughs> you call you, you call us slaves. You said we ain't country. You said we ain't country and we 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 was like, you know what I'm saying? We wasn't doing the we were doing the picking, not the planting. And we was we wasn't making money, we were getting sold for money. <laughs> Look here, man. 
if she had left all that, all that extra, all that third party stuff, I would have been like, you know, maybe she just ignorant. You know, people out, people learn at their own pace. Maybe college is her introduction to womanhood in a whole lot of different ways. So she just, you know, she she a, a ignorant young person. But then she went and hit us with the heat. Hold on, let me clutch my pearl. Let me clutch my pearl. She hit us with the heat, which which shows a level of deliberateness. And thought you thought about that. You thought you 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 thought about that. You went and got you a bottle of Thunderbird or a bottle of Cisco or whatever the hell you were sipping on, and said, "This is a good idea." Record in real life. In real life, that was that. <sighs> Stephen King can't make this shit up, y'all. I, I'm serious. I'm serious. He, he really can't. I'm still trying to watch my, my language because I know my man here and, and we got other folk. Some of my family might be watching. Uh, former Marshall said, yeah, oh, let me drop this link while I go back through these through these uh, comments real quick, fast. Let me get you right here and then click right here and then come over here and put you right there. Ooh, that boy cold with it. Boy. Be dropping them links like a pro. Yeah. I don't even like my wife's computer. My wife got Apple everything. Well, we both do, but her computer, man, I had she had to show me all of the kind of stuff. I remember back when I was struggling hard, I couldn't drop no, couldn't drop no links to save my life. Got a command button and all of the command. You know what I'm saying? Option for this. Yeah. Most of y'all fancy smancy folks out there, y'all got got them uh Mac. Book pros and I, the desktop was easier for me for some reason. I like uh, that's so racist. She should be well, Diana. I mean, look here now, Diana. I ain't gonna assume your ethnicity or nationality because you know I ain't, ain't gonna go there. But uh, you look to be a little lighter complected. I just want you to know you you are welcome. You're gonna be treated with love and respect over here at African Dream. Only person that can make me not like you is you. That's it. That's it. That's, that's you, the only one. I don't get everybody get a shot. Everybody get a chance. Everybody get a chance. Uh, tactical skill, you know, defense that Jay almost was about to go the hell off, but this is other people's views on how they really feel. Exactly, Tack. Exactly, my brother. Yeah, man. You know, we all won't get heated a little bit from time to time. Over stuff like that, but yeah, she worth it. Uh oh, hey, Strawberry Thirty Two. I saw you too. I meant to speak. Uh, Jason in Strawberry Thirty Two. I don't think any any one kind of people are inherently good or bad. It's all types of good and bad people. Absolutely, because y'all might not believe it or not. Oh baby, it's 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 all. I'm, 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 I might start speaking on this more about trying to dispel some of these normative rumors that just get repeated and said so much it, it kind of turned into truth, but that ain't really how it is. There is no one race or group of people. You may see more cohesion amongst certain subsets of people, and this is getting into the sociology of it all, but there's a reason why behind this. Without going too deep, and we ain't got to get into, into no, we, we ain't going to make it clinical or nothing like that. Let's say you got the United States of America. Let's say you have the Asian population. Now, that's a very broad population. So we talking about, on something, uh, Japanese citizens, Chinese citizens, Korean citizens, um, just to start. And then sometimes people forget, people forget, but some of your East Indians, they're also Asians. They're also Asians. They may not have the same arc. It look, they may not look what we perceive as the typical Asian features, right? But they're still Asian. So with that being said, if they are in the United States, it's very, very reasonable and logical for them to coalesce 
form whatever they fought because it's kind of like you somewhere else it's kind of like us in africa it was a whole lot me and april do our own thing we always have but it was a whole lot of of groups it was a lot of uh oh damn it's a commercial what is this is this commercial Damn, I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't know they were hitting, hitting, hitting up with commercial like that. But anyway, I won't belabor the point. You see where I'm going with it. So ethnically, if people do kind of cling together. They coalesce. They find one another. They build community, yada, yada, yada. I said all that to say, it ain't one of them out there that you finna find that don't have their own issues. You just don't understand the language. You just don't understand the language. Every country I done been to in my life, and I've been to quite a few of them, uh, it ain't nowhere I've never been where people don't know Tupac and Biggie. Black folks get studied. We get studied all over the damn world like hawks. Something about our, 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 you know, the way we walk, the way we talk, the way we this, the way we that. It's just, it just is what it is. So don't live your life thinking that these other communities and people don't have problems just like we got them. You just don't know what the hell they saying. They could be sitting up there arguing, talking about each other, grandma, right in front of your face. You getting your nails done. You and your feelings because you think they talking about you. No, they talking about how much they can't stand their uncle. It happened. What's up, family? I see you back there. Come on up with me. What's going on, Pepper? Man, I'm trying to get like you, fam. How is it? How your Sunday going? Oh, it's good, man. I'm about to get ready to head into this J-O-B in a minute, but yeah, I'm good. Okay, okay. Uh, Loving life. Said, what's the reason? What's the reason she made the video? She made the video in response to uh, uh, Beyonce's country album, and apparently some other students who it was like a, a party or something, and uh, you had a couple of black students with the cowboy hats and wearing the boots and listening to the Beyonce's, and uh, that's I mean she got in her feeling. But thank you for being here, loving life. Oh, go ahead, Pat. Go ahead. No, nah, that's funny because I, I, you know, I, I originally grew up in the South, so I kind of know what the South is about. But I don't know. I don't. I don't know that that it kind of. I kind of got a little bit upset, but I had to think about it. You know what I'm saying? That's why I put my comment in because I was about to write some stuff. I said, <laughs> "No, let me just sit back, <laughs> just chill out." But that's right. just how people are, man. Some people really think like that. You know, unfortunately, we still yeah. have that, that issue today. Which we should have been got over with years ago, but that's just reality, you know. Mm hmm. It just, it's just reality, man. I don't think it's never gonna go away completely because people gonna always be people, and people will always have their uh, they feelings and they they this and they that, and they just gonna feel how they feel, man. Mm -hmm. But. Chocolate Drop says something real important. She said, let's keep it respectful, which from everything I've seen, everybody been extremely uh, respectful. But uh, she said, we didn't like what she said. That's just one YT person. She can't speak for all of us. And the reason, the old I get, y'all, I try to find as much peace in my life. And I try to look at things as rationally as possible. And what Chocolate Drop said is 100% right, in my opinion. because. Uh, if if let's say let's say uh tech right let's say somebody in Michigan do something somebody who look like us and that that experience forever shaped them to the point where they come down here to Texas and they think that everybody with 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 locks is going you know what I'm saying is just just straight thugged out and they gonna harm them and do all of that I mean it ain't easy but some of us have to be the ones to uh. I ain't even gonna say be, be the bigger people, just kind of not getting our not not get not let that emotional reaction that we really want to have take over. But go ahead, Tech. No, uh, but yeah, that that's um, in the South is still much like that. Um, I know a lot of people that that grew up in the South. The South is pretty much still have. I mean, because I went to Tennessee a couple of years ago, and they still have Confederate flags going around Tennessee like crazy. So, you know, you will see a, a lot of people with the Confederate flag in the back of their truck, you know. That's just what you have to deal with if you live in Tennessee. That's just 
one of the states that I noticed when I went down there to go uh, take a family trip down there, that it was Confederate flags all over the place. So, you know, it depends on where you're at and um, what part of the United States you're in. It's, it's a common thing. Well, unfortunately, you know, it's still a common thing with racism. And I don't think it's going to leave. I know when I'm dead and gone, it's still not going to be gone. So, you know, I just hope the best for my children. I hope they can um, deal with it the best way they know how. And I'm trying to prepare them for that, you know, even to this day, because one to be 14 this year and the other one be 11. So they're still mighty young. Right. But, you know, just preparing them that, that pe some people are going to treat you different. It is what it is. You just got to know how to respond to the to the bull. Yeah. Oh, you still with me, bro? You froze up. No, no, I'm still with you. Okay, okay, there you go, there you go. Yeah, man, and you know I'm glad you said that, Tack, because they give an opportunity to share in another little piece of the conversation. Hey, Nikki, everyday life over no CB is chick. Um, you know, racist, and I'm glad you mentioned the South because being born and raised in the South, like I said, I done seen my fair share. It ain't just Tennessee. You see Confederate flags around here. You see this, you see that. But here's the thing. I learned a valuable lesson all them years we lived in Washington State, primarily, and we talking about Seattle. I ain't just in Washington State. I ain't over in Spokane. I ain't, I ain't at Moses Lake. I'm, I'm right there in the heart, in the heart of Seattle. Racism don't always have a look. Some people are a little bit bolder with it, and if you want to fly your flag, baby, go on, let me know. Let me know. Matter of fact, uh, uh. If somebody don't like my hair, you can say, uh, uh, no dreads on the property. I'm like, bet. I'll go next door. I'll go down the road. I, I would rather have that heads up than yep. uh, the way some people play it in the, in the Northwest, man, because there's some people who um, they don't like you no more than Billy Bob do, but they just play it different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They play it different. Yeah. What's up, John John? Uh, John John 74 said, great evening to African Dream in the chat. Pray that everyone is having a beautiful day. Same to you, brother. Uh, this is why knowing history on a subject before you speak is important. She showed she didn't know, do any research. Not only that, uh, uh, John John, to not, and I don't want to get, I mean, you know, February has come and gone, but I celebrate uh, the experience of being a proud uh, black American, African, whatever people come, indigenous, whatever the hell people call themselves. I'm a Texan. I'm a Texan. The banjo, its origins and roots, right? Uh, it's something that a lot of people don't know. Charlie Pride, uh, the way that music was shaped by uh, enslaved persons or people the influence that it had on jazz. I mean, my neighboring state right over there, New Orleans, man. New Orleans. The the whole jazz scene. All the all the R and B artists who primarily did I mean all the artists at the time who primarily did country music, who grew up on the on the Chitlin circuit. Just mm -hmm. like the James Browns and, and uh Aretha Franklins and all of that. There was a vast amount of country music artists who looked like me who just got pushed out of that out of that genre. So I agree. Yeah, man. Tech, what you got planned? I didn't see you go live today. You probably be going live. You didn't go live today, did you? Yeah, I would, I just got off not too long ago. I got off about two, probably about two o'clock. About, about I, didn't even, I ain't even see it, man. You bad, good, fam. I miss people all the time for some reason. I don't know if it's them knocking my notifications or I don't know what's going on with YouTube. So I, I ain't got no complaints because I be missing people and I, I swear I be my stuff be popping up, but eventually it don't. So I don't know. I ain't true. Yeah. Well, you know, when we get back, I might, you know what could have happened because I haven't. I ain't seen you in a week or two. You know what, man? They going through this thing again where YT, they've been doing a lot of updates. You see where you can like uh if somebody do a super chat, now you can like it in the in the thing and you can do all this kind of different stuff. So I might have got bumped off for you. I might have got bumped off for you. That's ain't good. Even subscribe. Yeah. 
Because I, I thought I was uh, scheduled to, I thought I was subscribed to Hot Tub Tony. And I went to go click his page today and it said I was unsubscribed. I'm like, okay, well, let me subscribe again. I guess I did. So I don't know. It's, it's all type of stuff going on with this YouTube thing. Yeah, yeah. That's why we just got to keep checking out for each other, looking out for each other, trying to support each other. Damn, man, it's 56 of y'all. Hell, I should have, I, I didn't even monetize this one. I should have. <laughs> monetize this junk, man. But I'm, I'm glad we're here so we can have this conversation for real. Le oh, by the way, while y'all in here, man, y'all make sure y'all hit that thumbs up. And if you want to share it out, share it out. Cause I ain't, you know, uh, I just want to want to hear from whoever else want to come up. Lisa L said, Lisa Harris said, it's sad, but uh, try. I dealt with more foolishness here in the north than the south. But uh, the truth. Is our family down south kept you under them like glue and did teach you what to look for and yeah. walk on? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's real. That's real. Um, I, I, I just, I, can, I cannot say. Uh, for me, being from Texas, Virginia is the north. Now that's the south to most of y'all, but to me, that's like the north east for me from way down here in Texas. But, um. Uh, Virginia was unique because I saw a lot of that that surprised me when I was living in Virginia. And then in Washington State, I really want people to understand. Everybody think that, that Washington and even California and even Oregon is just these super, super liberal places, super blue, super whatever. Get your get get outside get outside of Portland. Get outside of Seattle. Go down to some of them valleys off of I-5 and 101 down in California, baby. You might as well be in Texas as far as like some of that stuff go. But let me drop this link. Let me drop this link again for anybody else who wants to come. Let me We're going to run it up. We're going to run it a little bit longer, y'all. Just a couple more minutes and see how y'all give everybody a chance, anybody a chance who wanted to uh, slide through and state your, your, your thoughts or opinions or how you feel about it. All I ask is be respectful. You ain't even got to agree with me. That's another thing. You could be like, hey, Jay, uh, I don't agree with you, and I'm mad. And I'll be like, oh. <laughs> that's it. And I'll be like, yeah, okay, I understand. Hey, Miss Native Cherokee 70, what's going on? Welcome in, welcome in. Thank y'all for being here. The link is in the chat, y'all. We're going to give it about 10 more minutes. So if anybody has any questions or any other thoughts or opinions, I hope I didn't miss too many of the comments. I'm looking right now. I'm trying to go back up through here. Uh. But Jay, a lot of that is learned behavior from from folks that she learned that from. A lot of a oh, lot yeah. of it is it's passed down. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, I think most people' first instinct is is to love. Mm -hmm. uh, almost almost everything is is something. Some things are instinctual. But so much of how we experience life is the way we're curated as children and as adolescents leading into a early, early adulthood that uh, as that as that solidifies into our character. Well, that's who we oftentimes end up being. Now, you do have some really strong willed people who may grow up in. Uh, hell, it's a couple of different scenarios. Some people grew up in poverty. And they said the last thing I'm gonna be is poor. It's right? poor. Mm -hmm. That's some people who say uh, they grew up around and in uh, racist, racist environments and and uh, 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 racism within their family. They said the last thing I'm gonna be is racist. So it can be done. It's just a lot more difficult when you don't when that's your point of origin. You, yeah. you feel? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. I want to touch on one more thing since ain't nobody else coming up. Uh, I want to touch on one more thing you said that was real important, Tack. I just want to elaborate a little bit further. 
racism don't have the uh the aesthetics define the archetype to me because some of us got it confused it's like it looks a certain way it looks threatening or it looks like this some of the people who you would least suspect mm. of ever being that way or feeling that way about other other eth- ethnic groups. Um, life done taught me they can be the worst one sometime, man. Mm-hmm. So it really don't have a look. I base all of my life on how, how people treat me treat over me, time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So... Any other questions? This, man, it's been a great conference. Uh, Washington State was a red state up until. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Strawberry, 32. Um, Yeah, man. These, these folk. Miss <laughs> Native Cherokee said, nah, VA is very south-ish. <laughs> Mainly my <laughs> area. It was an interesting place. It really was. Um. Uh, Newport News wasn't so bad. Chesapeake was 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 Chesapeake was interesting, and uh, man, what's that one city, man? Where the airport at? What's the air, the airport is in? Uh, you up that way, bro? What's what? Where the airport? Uh, Richmond? Oh, R- Richmond was Richmond was was very Dallasy. <laughs> <laughs> Richmond was. Richmond was an interesting spot. It was cool. It was cool, but Richmond had some interesting places, bro. I was like, oh, yeah, that's how y'all get down over here, too, huh? Yeah, Yeah, I'm with you, Jay, man. I'd rather for somebody to show me who you are. I could deal with you better if you you show me who you are rather than you trying to hide it. Show me. I like to see your true colors ahead of time. (laughs) I don't want you to sneak up on me (laughs) A couple of days later, a couple of weeks, a couple of months later, then I see the whole new side. Like, hold on, you hated me all this time. <laughs> I know, right? I know. I just rather know. And and that's my and that's my whole point of this live, y'all. With everything Tech just said, Miss Native Cherokee said Richmond is crazy, and Mama Nita said I'm in VA. It's still interesting in Richmond. I'm here, <laughs> man. I'm telling you, it was Richmond was because I mean I just lived there, right? So I didn't. I ain't know we were gonna be that much like uh like parts of Dallas. I, I didn't really know what to expect, and I was younger then too, so it was like, okay, this is cool. This is this is cool. Uh I don't know, they love their blue crabs out there. I'm I'm more of a snow crab kind of guy, but they love their blue crab, man. Uh she said, not many, she said, said, not many can hide. That's true. I mean, if you around somebody long enough, it's gonna come out eventually. It's gonna come out. Yeah. It's gonna come out. It's gonna show it. So, you know, as we as we summarize this thing, y'all, and kind of solidify the point of this whole live and why it was important to me, why I got my little man back here on, you know what I'm saying, on his horse, doing his thing and his full cowboy. Regalia is because I think it's more of a benefit to all of us. But right now we're being specific to matters of race uh, and ethnic and uh, 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 how can I say this? Ignorance. Some people of ignorance of other cultures, history, and past. They get out They run their mouth. They say things that make them look absolutely horrible, especially when they add the element of hate behind it. Because she could have stopped several times and just said, no, black people ain't country because I always see them in the hood. I see them in the city. So there's no way. But she clarified. She said that with her chest. Yes, she did. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) She said that with her chest. So. When we encounter these situations, now I understand your online response is probably going to be very different from a face-to-face response because you're going to be wanting to hold back, you know. But when it comes to stuff online, family, I'm encouraging everybody in here, 
all of our viewers, all of our supporters, all of our members. Man, I'm looking here, everything. There's a lot of different people, if y'all looking at this chat, a lot of different people from a lot of different backgrounds from literally all over this country and different parts of the world. Don't let nobody get you out your character, especially somebody you ain't never going to meet, never going to see, never going to bump into. Your time and your energy is so much more precious than that. I'm not saying you're not going to feel something, but don't let uh, outside influences dictate uh, how how your day going to go, how your moment going to go, how your week going to go. Just keep being positive. Keep being happy. Know that there's fools in this world and keep it pushing. Yeah. And, and the rest of it is going to take care of itself. So uh, with that being said, man, Tech, you can't. You came on earlier. Uh, when you coming on next Sunday, bro? Yeah, I'll probably be on next Sunday. No, yeah, I should be. I should be. Okay, okay. I see one or two more comments. I just want to address real quick before we get out of here. I think it wasn't a question. Hey, right, AJ, I'm, I'm about to hit the bushes, so I'm about to hit, get ready for work, man. I enjoy being on the panel with that. I had to hop up on here, brother, and, and uh. Cause I ain't seen you in a minute, you know what I'm saying? I ain't yeah, on the panel in a minute. <laughs> hey, always, bro. I appreciate the support, family. I appreciate the support. Tag. All day long. I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch a replay and catch up with you, bro. Okay, for sure, man. You be uh, blessed and uh, stay safe, bro. All right, you too, fam. All right, stay blessed, stay safe. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. That was Tack 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 the skill and that himself. Uh. As the team said, that's a good moral compass. Don't let anyone got get you out of your character. I try. It's a struggle, as the team, but the older I get, the more mellow I get because uh, I, I start to figure out different um, aspects of this life that I'm living and what's worth it, what's not worth it, the, the protection of my peace and uh, my sanctity. If that's compromised, it's hard for me to be the best man I can be for my wife, for all the other people I love, for my family. And it's really just outside chatter. You know, again, nursing student, serious job, how you feel coming out in that way, that's kind of, it's cringe. It's cringe, but I'm not mad at her. I hope she don't get canceled. I hope that uh, it's a teachable moment for her. Those are her true feelings and sentiments. And I hope she stand on business because she said it with her whole chest. So you said it, you know, ride it out, see how things work out for you. But um, I don't I don't think I don't think I personally want to uh, see her get kicked out of school and all of that right there because she wasn't the first racist. She damn sure ain't going to be the last. I mean, it's just the world we live in, y'all. I'm not trying to oversimplify it, but I don't give a damn if you're on Spirit, JetBlue, American, Delta. What if your pilot races, races as hell? I'm, I'm serious. You gonna, you you done paid for your ticket? Y'all on the runway. And imagine, y'all hear me out before I get out of here. Y'all <laughs> hear me out. What if, what if you're on the run on the taxiway, man? You hear the engines building up and it. Um, all in words. Uh, uh, no free water and uh... <laughs> I mean, what you gonna do? You gonna jump off the plane, man? You gonna say stop? You gonna get up and go over to the door, push the door open, and say, uh, uh, Mr. Pilot, sir, I sure don't appreciate. It. We surrounded by silly. Some, some of them just dumb as hell. Some of them ignorant. Some of them racist. Life gonna be life, man. Life gonna keep life in. It's all about how you respond to it. It's all about how you respond to it at the end of the day, because that's all you really got control over is your actions, your emotions, and your feel. Ten, what's going on? Hold on, man. I see my girl come in here. Hey, one J and I, I just wrapped up my virtual anniversary date with the hubby in the bushes. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. Shout out, Ten. The it. Educated Natural, a.k.a. JJ. My virtual anniversary date with the hubby. Well, 
I hope things went swimmingly, young lady. And happy uh anniversary. Y'all, man, y'all get y'all get 10. Drop your uh drop your uh your your link in there real quick. I got time. I got time. I ain't gonna do nothing, but I ain't even I gotta finish working on stuff around here. But it's Sunday, so I feel a little I feel a little inclined to uh Kind of chill harder today than I usually do. I went out there this morning, boy, and got ready to start weed eating and, and just yeah. Anywho, it's about ten right now, man. Y'all get y'all put congratulations to ten to the educated natural in the chat, please and thank you. And somebody drop her link, please and thank you. Or ten, you can drop your own link and go over there and visit and support her. There she is. There she is. 27 years. My goodness. Mm, mm, mm. 27 years together. Ooh. Child. Hashtag goals. Hashtag goal. That is a blessing. That is a blessing. And everybody don't make it. Folk wonder how. And folks wonder want how, how and why. Man, I. Sh <sighs> mm, mm, mm. It ain't easy. It's worth it. It's worth it. But you got to understand, y'all, we talking about almost 30 years together. That's growing up together. That's your whole adult life together. That's growing into the man or woman or person that you've grown into together with another person. So not only are you growing individually, you know how strong you got to be to to grow individually and collaboratively with another human life that you can see is you're going to share your soul, mind, body, and spirit with until you take your last fart. If it was easy, everybody do it. <laughs> as long as it's still worth it, did you, man. Woo. Mm -hmm. That's a blessing, family. I really am happy. Happy for y'all and proud of y'all. Uh, Yeah, uh, little punk, uh, punk and little farm. It, it, folk gonna be who they is. Folk gonna be who they is. Uh, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. But you should. I got man. You were late. You were night island the other night. I gotta go back and finish. Um, uh, uh, yo, 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 movie review because I didn't finish it. I, hey, what's up, pow pow? I didn't finish the new movie review, but. Mm -hmm. While we in here, while we in here, look here. Can somebody please uh drop uh Bayou Sugar Garden link as well? I ten just just got through celebrating her virtual, and then and then she come in here, and now I'm trying to get her to work. Ten, you know, one of these months, I'm gonna have to just give you thirty seven dollars for all that you do with the moderation over here, holding the fort down and keeping it all together. But Bayou Sugar had a real good live the other night with the with the um talking about the the soil and that's something I want everybody to pay attention to if you get a chance. It's called Kiss the Earth, and I ain't even gonna get no spoilers. Go over there, look at it, check it out. Especially if you in the country or you just got enough land where you actually tilling up your soil. We ain't tilled up nothing big enough to cause dust bowl, and we probably we never will. But it's still a good piece of history. It's still a, that's right, Happy Mac. Thirty-seven is always a good ball. It's still a good piece of history. And before I get out of here, uh, thank you, Educated Natural. Thank you, my sister. Uh, oh, be looking for this crawfish kickback. Crawfish kickback. Uh, we gonna let y'all know what time. But be looking tomorrow. Tomorrow. You can call it a uh, the final Q and A. You can call it the final whatever, whatever. Uh, but the fifteenth is rolling up. Fifteenth is to cu you cut off, like Dave Chappelle said. You cut off unless you get your tickets at the door. Now they forty now. They gonna be fifty at the door. I know y'all think, damn, the tickets been in to this and that, y'all. Uh, we're not finna over buy crawfish. We want it to be good and plenty for everybody, Thomas, to get full and, and just eat and be happy and, and jovial and all the other uh, 
joyous things that come with being at a kickback, playing dominoes, playing spades, and eating crawfish and all the other little vittles that's going to be there. But we need to know. We got to have a head count. That's why we cutting it off, and that's why we, look, be there tomorrow. Look for Unbiased LLC. Look for Unbiased LLC. Oh, matter of fact, 10, 10, I'm clutching my pearls. I love you. I need, I need one more solid. One more solid. If you would drop unbiased LLC link off in the off in the thing right here, uh, then everybody can go over to her, her her page, her channel, and uh, we can get this we can get this crack lacking, get this going, get this going, cause uh, I want everybody to know. I want everybody to be there. I want everybody to have access to. Uh, all the information that we're going to be putting out tomorrow. Myself, Pieces of April, Unbiased LLC, The Big Rooster Show, and Arama, uh, uh, Tori's Brain. If Tori work schedule, he may or may not be able to slide in when we go live, but be looking for that, y'all. Be looking so you can get all of your all of your uh, all your info. Hold on, I see some. Y'all got my name now. Yeah, we got you, baby sugar. We got you, family. We got you. We got you. We'll talk more about that tomorrow. Matter of fact, email us if you have any question. And I see somebody backstage. Uh, I'm finna. I'm, I'm gonna bring you up, but make it make it real. Make it uh, make it quick. Cause I'm finna get out of here. But like, I gotta see you first. Cause I don't even know if you you. You can be somebody else. I don't know if that's you. Turn my camera on and then it be okay. That's that's you. That's you. All right. Here we go. What's up, bro? What's going on? I can't hear you, boy. Turn on your mic. I said, wait, can there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. I hear you. How you gonna require me to show my face? Not even be my face, African Dre man. I <laughs> it's the face I'm used to seeing. As long as it's the face I'm used to seeing. You know, nah, no words. It's all love. Yeah. Uh, dude, like totally. Like I'm looking forward to man, just seeing everybody in the crawfish kickback. And if not, we're definitely gonna support. Man. Oh, for sure, for sure. Like, yo, it's about to be live and living a life, man. And I had a few other things, but yeah, look, if anybody no, can be here, it'll be dope, man, to uh really yeah. meet all the real ones in person, all the good, all the good hearted people in person. You did. I think it'll be dope. Oh, uh, sure. this is not Friday. This is not Friday. <laughs> you, see you see it. You see, I can't it? move without the mafia. I told y'all I was gonna get y'all ten cents a month. ACH, <laughs> ACH. What more do you want from me? <laughs> well, Tyrese, man, he Tyrese. Him. He said, "What more do you want from me?" <laughs> I told you, ACH is coming from the government. I. <laughs> The institution. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. But uh no man, Fred, you want you can uh did you have something else you wanted to you were talking about the cross, but you said you want to say something, but you didn't want to have to rush it. Go ahead, go ahead. If you, you got you got a minute, you got a minute. Oh, no worries, no worries. Uh I wanted to keep this all like you know within scope, right? So I didn't want to yeah. like kind of double in and everything like that. Um um, but I think with this crawfish kickback, you know, there's a few things going on, right? We got, you know, not only everybody in the crawfish, and the people that don't indulge with the crawfish, you did, right. you know, right. you are, you know, you're going to, you're going to be satisfied for, you know, for all the other selections, right? Um, mm -hmm. but also I think it's just like the, the mindset and just being there to be able to have fun, right? Um, Oh, I got sure. my people down there in Plano, Texas, and everything else. And we're gonna have a good time, you know. So I can't wait for all of us to see each other. And I just want to challenge everybody's mind 
you know, to an event like this, you know, make sure you come, you know, just to make good friends and like really chop it up and have a good time, you know, nothing extra, you know, ain't no funny stuff and no, no reg like irregular stuff. Let's have a good time. You know, if anything, let's just make sure that we all have the right intention and I would expect everybody to, but you know, I see how this yeah. internet is moving. So I just wanted to make sure everybody know. Yeah, let's have a good time. Yeah, that's all we gonna do, man. We ain't, we ain't no ain't no fun to be in around the park. We we chilling on it. We uh we uh gonna have a good time. We gonna have a great time. We gonna have we gonna have crawfish. We gonna have other uh vittles to to consume. Uh oh, hold on. We gonna have other things to eat for for the non crawfish eaters. We gonna have uh <clears throat> uh me. I'm going to have the mafia for ARD. <laughs> I, don't, I think the only member might be there is, is probably April, man. The mafia. That'll be, be the only one. But uh, yeah. I don't know who's going to show up, man. It's still it's still up in the air. It's still up in the air. So ain't, ain't no telling who I'm going to show up, man. We're just looking forward to a really, really, really good time. With that being said, y'all, I'm on. Yes, sir. I see a question. Hold on. Uh, what does crawfish taste like? Uh, delicious. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. I mean, as the thing, the best way I could put it is um, if you like lobster tail, just think about small, small bites of lobster with Creole seasoning one at a time. I mean, you right. know, you're, you're working for it, but you got all that delicious crawfish boil juice and stuff and then you got your yeah by the time you get to that tail baby ooh, yeah it's real out there but uh yeah, yeah I, I, uh, look yeah i tried crawfish one time since the announcement the initial announcement of the crawfish came back you know i got a hella family you know when we say yeah. hella that ain't cussing because it come with an h <laughs> right. hella family on that crawfish but uh what I would say is it's a lot of work for a very good delicacy. <laughs> yeah, it's a delicacy. And it's, it's a social delicacy, if anything, right? Right. You know, yeah. Right. Ask the team if you come, I'll show you how to break them open and everything. You have you you'll have a you'll have a great time. Uh I I'm I'm getting ready to wind this thing down. A A R D was that was that all you wanted to uh add in, bro? I'm gonna wind this thing yeah, down. yeah. I was gonna ask something for you, but I'll just talk to you offline about that. I don't think it's a yeah. No, I think everything is proper right now, and I thank you for your time, brother. But um, okay. yeah, I'm looking forward to it to being there in person, and yeah, man, I, I look forward to embrace everybody and have a great time. All right, fam. All right, I appreciate you, bro. We'll Wait, are y'all doing here. the crawfish uh, linguine, like with all the noodles and stuff? Y'all getting fancy? Linguine? Hey, man. Hey, man. Don't tell me you're going to go. Don't tell me you're going to go. You said bye and then ask two more damn questions. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, <laughs> look, man. You good, sir? Yes, sir. All okay. All right, family. All right. All right. Well, how? Uh, yeah, man, it's 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 um, it's it's good. And the crawfish, I mean, you know, like you said, it's a unique taste, unique flavor. Um, how God, Sammy Joe, Sammy Joe. I, I hope I spoke to everybody. I'm trying to make sure I ain't have no no uh questions left in here, and I think I got all the. I would love to, but too far. I would love to. Oh, Nebraska. Oh, yeah, that is a long way. It's all good. It's all good. Maybe the next go round. Maybe, 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 if not this year, then maybe next year. And uh, ten, Happy Max at 10. On, about this. Okay. All right. Look at y'all. I got to jump off of here, man. I appreciate y'all. I thank everybody for coming through. I appreciate everybody for being a part of this conversation. I appreciate everybody for uh, uh, rocking with us. I want to thank uh, Tactical Skillionaire. 
for coming up. I want to thank ARD for coming up. All the people in the chat, man, thank y'all so much. I hope over the course of this live, you found somebody in here who interests you, if it's just their name or whatever. Y'all link up, find each other, man. Show each other some love, show each other some support. And as I always say, oh, make sure y'all catch. Be looking for Unbiased LLC tomorrow. Be looking for all of us tomorrow. Going live, final information on the Crawfish Kickback. With that being said, family, can't nobody tell me I am. Can't nobody tell me I ain't. Hashtag BCIAC was started in Africa when me and my wife lived in Tanzania, Africa, for being country in another country. Don't let nobody tell you who you are or who you are not. I take these Texas roots very proudly, very strongly. I take East Texas roots profoundly strong we ain't never had a whole lot but we didn't always had everything we needed baby and i've been country my whole life just like my folk before me and they folk before them and they folk before them with that being said i don't give a damn who say what i'm gonna be right here until the next time y'all see me and i see y'all right here in east texas forever being country in another country.